Hello everyone and welcome back guys to the Mazda Cup once again on iRacing. We're today we're here at Sakuba, obviously baseline uh, car, uh, sorry baseline, stock car, stock track, everything like that. So looking forward to uh, this one. But yeah, today we're here then at Sakuba, obviously uh, all three contents are certainly going to be a lot more people starting P14 as the number 12 car. And I will hopefully see you guys on the grid. So we are ready then on the grid for this week's Mazda Cup race. 25 minutes here around at Sakuba. Obviously we've done quite a lot of Sakuba in recent weeks. But yeah, we're starting P14 as the number 12 car this time. So hopefully obviously we can have a nice, solid, good race. You know, try and move up the order ever so slightly. Sakuba hasn't gone too well for me in recent weeks. Off the top of my head, obviously we did okay in the Porsches. And then in the Skippies, we got absolutely destroyed by about turn 2. I think it was in the end. So yeah, hopefully, like that guy saying, good luck everyone. Uh, we definitely need it. P14 is number 12 car. 25 cars are piled onto this Sakuba circuit here today. So it's going to be interesting to see how we all fare. But yeah, hopefully, you know, we're starting just onto the straight near enough. Um, 25 we're on the minutes. inside. Let's do this thing. I've got back crew chief today, not the iRacing one. Okay, Matt. Here we go. Don't fuck this up. There we go. Cheers, crew go. chief. And that has been an okay start. Um, we're on the inside of someone, or a nice orange car there, in towards uh, one. Left side. I'm going to make sure, well, I Still definitely there. knocked up the brakes there, but try and keep it nice and tidy Clear on left. the inside. Car left. Up the inside of one car Hold off the start line. there. We've got a good run on another. Still there. He's still there. All running a still bit there. deep. Clear left. Left side. But we are going to be able to Clear hold left. on and move up one place off the start there then. I'm going to P13, if I'm not mistaken. Someone makes a big mistake just a little bit further up. I am running a setup this week. It's quite loose, to be honest. Um, obviously, holy moly. Car right. People breaking very, very early. Still um, there. Clear right. You know, the Mazda is exactly the world's hardest car to drive, but still, right. you can quite easily upset it. Oh, hold your line. Hold. We got one guy on the inside here. Not really too sure what we're hold really going to be able to do. Still there. Clear right. Trying to get a bit of a slow in fast out. Probably could have left it in fourth, to be honest. But there we go. We've survived that one. We haven't actually changed any positions so far, which Come I on, guess don't is make it easy for him. Better than losing any. Crew chief, very, very vocal today. That was awfully close as we came through turn one. But, yeah, we survived the start. That's usually the toughest thing. On your right. At the inside. He's still there. Clear right. And we're now back up into P13. So, lots of battling. I'm pretty certain Chris and I actually had tied in qualifying. So, that's certainly... Oh, it's all getting a bit nippy. Just up in front. Car right. And we're just going to get boxed in on the He's outside. still there. Right side's clear. On your right. Right side's clear. We're going to be able to get a good run on Left the exit, side. though. On the switchback. Oh, this there. guy's giving me a bit of an aggressive squeeze, but we will be able to get up Hold the inside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. And we are now up into P12. The leader's just done a 102. Oh, this race. But once again, the number 21's going to come back at me. All right. Holy moly, this has been an intense Still start. Still there. Hold your line. Oh, just Clear too right. deep in towards one. Car right. And we're going to drop Still back there. down to P13. Right. Right Holy side. moly. Clear right. Takes a very different line to what I was planning on going through turn one. That got all a little bit nip and tuck once again there. But, I mean, we're only on lap three. And this is already a more overtakes than most races on do I racing. So, Mazda Cups around Sakuba works, it appears. Which is always nice. Get that nose in. It's really easy to try and get the power too early in these things and just run yourself out wide through a lot of the hairpins. And obviously this track is basically all hairpins, which is not ideal in that sense. But yeah, it's, as I said, very, very easy uh, to just get on the power just that bit too early. And that can really, really cost you. Realistically, it's going to be 24 laps, I'm inclined to say, around here. I need to remember that we can use all of the Astro out on the outside. The orange car is closing in. You're a second off in Sector 1. That, you know, we've still got quite a big battle going on just in front of us here. You know, it's it's a track where it's not very easy to make up much time, sadly. 
and this guy just seems to be going. Oh no! No 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 no! Shit, man! Track limits. Come on. Try and rejoin safely. Don't want to lose all the time in the world. That was a big error by myself. Surprised the curb completely screwed me like that. But now we find ourselves towards the rear of the field. Somehow didn't pick up any X though, which I'm a bit confused by. But hey ho, not even a loss of control. But yeah, now we're on a bit of a fight back. Sadly, that was a new error by myself. As I said, this setup is leading the race. quite loose. I'll be honest. Um, probably a bit looser than I should have gone with. Um, but yeah, two guys in front of me, going side by side. Hopefully this can be a good chance for us to capitalise. Ooh, contact! And that's one of them round. That's definitely us capitalising. That was very interesting. Yeah, I mean, obviously this race should probably 18th. end up with a few more sort of newbie people, because it's all obviously baseline content. You find more activity and therefore more not very good people. We have 25 standards for this, obviously there's just one split. For this race. Uh, where are you going, buddy? Car left. Slow Clear car left. on the left. Not too sure where that is, exactly. Yeah, we need to try and get past this guy, though, nice and soon. Because he is definitely much slower. Got a slow car on the left again. Oh, there's been more death! Yellow flag. Watch out. Not too car sure left. why you're Clear turning left. enemy there, buddy. I'm quite clearly down the inside, but... Nice one, Matt. Oh, nice yourself, one, I think, what's that? Three places that lap. So back to P15. And we're back behind Chris again. So hopefully we can try and close up once more. This this has had a fair bit of action already, and we're what? Barely 20% of the way in. Oh, upset the rear on the way in. Come on. Get some snap back. Car right. This guy's trying to really squeeze me Still out wide. It's gonna be side by Still side towards turn one. Clear right, P15. Try and swing it around the outside there, and we do now hold on after a big, big slide out of the final corner. Well, I say out of the final corner, it was right the way through the final corner. Just have to be patient though with it, this car on this setup is quite loose. Which is never a good thing, but it does make it, well, I say it's never a good thing, it does make it a little bit quicker. That always seems to be the way with racing in terms of setups anyway make the car looser it's usually a bit quicker but far more risky but yeah we we can still see p12 obviously the aim is p12 try and hold the i rating but we'll wait and see in through the final corner once more try to get nice and tidily on the power Trying to lift off a couple of times through the corner and yeah, I think hopefully, hopefully we won't be getting many Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. 1.9 off the pace. But we were fighting with someone and we are definitely closing up to the guys in front. Actually, are we? I don't know. I think we are. Not by as much as I'd originally hoped, but I think we are. Launch it into turn 2. Don't hit that curb now. I've made that mistake. Make sure not to do that ever again. But we're already on lap 7. We are we've got 17 and a half minutes to go, just over. But yeah, I think it should be a bad 24 lap race. Uh, most people are doing front is now high 102s, low 103s, and obviously when you take into account the, st the uh, first lap and everything, realistically, it's going to end up, we're just going to finish the 25 minutes right on the 24 lap mark, so... Oh, there's been another crash. Yellow flag. Someone's Keep in the wits about you, mate. The gap behind is now 2.2 seconds. That was a uh, 103.81. Sector so one is another place. Off the pace. Not too sure what happened there. A little up the road, but it's helped me out of it. It's brought the three guys ahead just that bit closer as well. Let's get the front end in. I do really enjoy driving these masters still. Oh, they're getting a little bit argy bargy. Yeah, the Mazda is so much fun to drive. Oh, God, what on earth are they doing? Just having an absolute pump fest. Number seven runs deep. It's not even going to be able to get much of a switch back either, sadly. That would really help me out, but it's not going to happen this time around. David Thompson's able to fill up a little bit of a gap now. We'll just 
just I'm tempted just to watch these two try to fight. Try to just pick them on them both. Oh, he's getting loose. Holy moly. Nice and smooth. Don't overdrive the car. You're P14. You've just done a 104.01. P14. We're moving back up. Name is obviously P12, but I would like P11. Yeah, if we can. Depends how, if we can get past these guys. And if so, how quickly. This guy in front's having a few issues. Oh, running a little bit wide. Come on. Not what I wanted. Holy moly. Oh, and he's died. No idea what happened there, but that's just another place. Bang P13. Two and after, even after our mistakes, we still haven't actually lost out too much in this race. Oh, we don't want to be attacking that curb too much. Now I need to try and get past. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. P13. Sector 2 and 3 are a second off the pace. Sector 1 is 3.9 off the pace. 3. Point, okay, so according to this we should be doing 58 second lap times. Fair enough. Oh, come on. This guy's taking some strange lines. He's really pushing. But really, all he's doing is losing himself time at the moment. Move back to the outside, try to go slow in, fast out. left. And we've been able to make it work. He's still there. Clear left. That's the stuff. We'll have some more of that. I will take that. Thank you very much. Back in P12. Don't think he's going to be able to launch it. Nope. He's diving into the pit lane? Seems strange. Don't think you need to pit in these races. The car behind is pitting. P12. Yeah, sure that's all right. Thompson ahead is increasing. It's now 1.9. I'm sure we even got. Still got nine. Yeah, we've got 20 laps still. Nine liters. Which is a bit odd. Yellow flag. More yellow flags. Oh, someone else has spam. It's going to leave these two having a bit of a. Well, both cost each other a bit of time, which is always nice. Let's hope you bring me up closer and closer. Slow in at fast out, trying to get a nice late apex onto the back straightaway once more here. So we are now in a fight for P10, which is considering I was, what, 19th? Just a couple of, well, about five, six laps ago. Oh, how times change in Master Cup. I would love to do the proper sort of like, but I don't know. I I, I don't know because I think sort of like twenty five cars around a track like this. You're pulling away. Like the gap behind is now five point eight. But yeah, these cars are just super fun to drive. You're right. Somehow got up the inside. Not too sure how we've managed Still that. Still there. To be honest, right. Well done, Matt. Great move. Keep it up. No, nope, don't hit that curb. Holy moly! I almost got caught out by it again. Half distance. Fuel looks good. Half distance. We've still probably got about 20 laps in the tank. Keep it nice and tidy on the apex. It is one of those weird things where actually getting on the power slightly later sometimes can give you a bit more down the straight. So they give me, well, pretty much it's about scrubbing off as little momentum as possible and giving yourself the shortest run. In a car as slow as this. It's, yeah. It's, it's very different to drivers. This guy runs wide. They're going to be able to get up the inside. Car left. Still there. Clear oh left. Goodness. I'm missing the mistake. Two is zero point four zero oh, right, off the back. Back. We're now back up into P10 of this race. Guy behind gets very close through there. Now we need to 
just try and build up a little bit of a gap. We've got seven and a half seconds up the road. So that gap might be a bit big to close up. But we'll wait and see. Anything can happen. I wonder if this guy's using a proper clutch. Sadly, I do not have a H pattern, so... I do have a clutch pedal, but no way am I using that with flappy paddles. Just be the weirdest thing in the world. Good run out of the final corner. He's of all of that, Astro. Okay, Matt. Don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it. So just one and two are zero. Point four two off the pace. Swear it's like three, two tenths off the pace. Lap times are pretty still. consistent. Actually, to be fair, the gap to the guys in front is coming down ever so slightly. Oh, bit deep, bit deep. Ruined my run a little bit on the exit there, but I think he sort of followed me. Way too wide through there, using up too much track space. Oh, he tries to get the nose up the inside, but can't quite do it. You've really got to park this car quite strategically, which certainly adds an interesting element. How long we got left? No, nope. less than 10 minutes. 103.93. We are certainly getting our way through this race. Nothing you can really do there, buddy. Trying to build up a little bit of a gap to him now. Just try and push just that bit more. Not too sure why there's... Well, there's a little bit of lap traffic up the road. Don't know if it's going to help me out all too much, but... Only time will tell. Sun's starting to set here around Scuba, which means the track does get colder. And that could end up cost... Well, it'll cost everyone some time. It's just a case of trying to make sure you adjust your lines slightly. Break just that bit earlier into the corners and all the things like that. Yeah, we're definitely getting closer. That is a huge train of cars. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Yeah, fuel is definitely not an issue. Got about eight and a half minutes to go. Try to attack that curve a bit more. Got a nice run out here. Oh, the guy behind me is running a bit wide. Just trying to build up that margin. I think we do have a general bit of extra pace over him. Just a bit more consistency. The, I don't know what that light is flashing red for. I'm going to guess it's fuel, but I could be completely wrong. The engine might be about to blow. But we'll wait and see. Towards one. Oh, he runs a bit deep. Although so did I, so I haven't really been able to capitalise. He's trying he's getting a little bit desperate now. Trying to make moves as we've got quite a battle going on just up the road. The gap behind is oh, now. Come on. Not I've changed now. Maybe we're starting to settle down and we're closing up to that huge train. Is that three lap cars involved? I think it is. Yeah, we are building up that gap to the guy behind, though. You can just see it visually, lap by lap. We're up to P9, I didn't even realise. We're inside, well, we are. We were already inside top 10, but... P9 is better than P10. Through the final couple of corners. Once again here, at Sakuba. How long have we got left? Five, six minutes? I don't know. Yeah, six minutes, 26. So probably six more laps. Right now, 
be able to not get screwed by these two latch cars. Hopefully they sort of let me by. But I mean, there's three of them now. They're cloning. They're growing stronger together. The leader's in the pit! What's happened there? Everyone's pitting. And I don't know why. Have I unlocked a secret to the master? P8. Oh, it's P8. Well, no, that's probably a lie. Crew Chief still has a tendency to lie about things, sadly. Perhaps, well, I mean, that was... Oh, shit. A bit, break, a bit late even, I should say. Got a nice late apex, though. Yep, someone is in. Remember to P8. Make him do all the work. Focus on your exits. Sectors 1 and 3 are 0 0.37 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0 0.27 off the pace. So we're into P8 then. This is, this is going well. So we were pretty much last. I think about 19th. After the spin. Just a few laps to go now. We have moved our way up the order. Now it's a case of lapped traffic. See, realistically, Chris just in front is probably trying to use us to his advantage. But, I don't know. We wait and see. Think I want a curve there, buddy. I'm going to do that. Really unsettles the car. But yeah, let's just hope we don't get that lap time lap cars was are, right? are these all lapped cars? Okay, Matt, the next car is Moya. Yeah, but that's all well and good, but I don't know where Moya is. Oh, guy behind me is nearly dropped. Car it. left. Clear left. That's one lap car. Push, 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 push. We can get this guy. Oh, come on. It's giving us a lap car between us as well. Oh, someone's having some blinking. Come on, blue flag, blue flag. I'm gonna do my best Seb impression. For all these fighting lapped cars. I think it's like I said, you can't really lose or gain much time. That lap was a 103.79. Not bad. Oh, a little bit wide. Need to get past this guy. Right side. Cheers, buddy. Right side's clear. Not too sure if he was actually the trying to let me pass oh, yeah. there, but Ahead is now he ran wide, but we accidentally ran up the inside, so hey ho. Let's hope the two guys just in front are in a bit of a battle as well. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way! We're gonna weave in, hopefully he realizes. Thank you. Alright. Right side's clear. Oh, someone's... I don't know what issues those are. Has someone blown their engine? You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Someone... Yeah, it's definitely got issues. I, I've genuinely never seen that before on iRacing. Has someone tried to rev the nuts off their car? Yep. He's... He's... He's, he's blown the engine. Well done there, buddy. Car right. Clear right. Why are you still trying to battle this? <laughs> I've legitimately never seen that before. How do you do that? Just completely rev the nuts off it. Constantly, just engine brake on the downshift, everything like that. That's, a, that's us up another place, then. Into P7. And now 
Uh, hopefully we can try and close the sector yes. two is zero point four seven off the pace. Yeah, I've I've legitimately never seen that before, and I didn't even realise it does all the smoke or anything. I thought I just thought it yellow blows flag, up. It caution. blows up. Oh, yellow flags, eh? What's that all about? Nothing. Okay. Oh, someone's died. I think we're about to head into the final lap, though. Trying to close up. Oh, these two are definitely squabbling. Works out nicely for me. Even if, if even if it just means I can get one of them, it's still a bonus in my book. We got five seconds behind us as well. But we shall wait and see. Yep, white flag is now out. Come on, fair bit of understeer. Tires are going. Yep, these two are having an absolute... One more lap to go. That lap was a 103.82. Good consistency. Keep them coming. We just need one of them to send it. And soon. Like that. Go on, keep the nose in number 21. Go, on, go side by side through here. You know you want to. And now... Send it completely rashly, number nine. Do it. Oh, it's, I've actually just called a brilliant battle. Oh, one of them's gone. Yes. I've, I've just perfectly scripted that. This is career mode at this rate. An hour of my driver episode. Sorted. But there we go. That's us up to P6 through the final corner of the day. That race was interesting. Had a lot of action throughout. Um, yeah. P... What was that? P12... P6. No, P14 That's to the end P6. Of the race. We'll get him next and time. Really, obviously it was P19 to P6. So that was, yeah, really really exciting at the end of the day there. But yeah, um, let's have a look back. What actually happened between these two? So, he, does he drop it on the curves? He goes up the inside, quite clearly. Oh, almost contact. Yeah, he drops it on the curb on the exit. Well, he doesn't fully drop it, but that's a free place to us at the end of the day, though. So, yeah, P14 to P6. I will certainly take that, especially including the fact we spam at the start. I don't think we picked up a single instant point there in that race either. Uh, that was all in practice. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you get yourself subscribed if you're new around here as well. And you do want to see more iRacing on the channel. But, yeah, that has been it from me for this one. And I will hopefully see you guys next time for another video.